Okay. Um, you know, for years, I was telling people that the Ziggy Stardust persona of David Bowie's, he borrowed the Stardust part from the ledge, and people were like, fuck you, you're lying, man. And it's like, no, seriously, nobody believed me. And they wouldn't believe the ledge either if he told, but ledge doesn't really just throw that out there, you know. Anyway, Bowie, bless his heart, and rest his soul, man, he uh, put his money where his mouth was because in 2002, he recorded a Ledge song, the second Mercury single called I Took a Trip on a Gemini Spaceship. And he edited, he was a guest editor of Mojo Magazine that month of June 2002, and he wrote some of the greatest, nicest stuff anybody has ever written about the legendary Stardust Cowboy. And uh, he also flew us to London to play at the Meltdown Festival because he chaired it that year. And then he flew us to the Highline Festival in New York, right? Uh, and then, you know, we didn't meet him on those occasions because he sent his man to tell us in London that uh, Bowie sends his regards. He regrettably couldn't be here. I think he was doing some his television in America. Um, and But he, he said he'll see you at, at, at uh, I think it was called Area One or something like that. It was a tour he did with Moby here in the States. Well, when it played at the Shoreline Amphitheater in Mountain View or whatever, um, we were on the list, right? So we show up and uh, see some see some Bowie, you know, it was great. And then we go wait, you know, for him in this area designated for us to wait for him. And uh, when he came around the corner and he saw the ledge, he breaks into like a, a, a run up to us and he, and my respect level for him went right through the roof, man. I've always been a fan of his huge body of work. I mean, there's some amazing, brilliant stuff in there. Anyway, so, but it was good to know as a person, he is, awesome because he ran up to the ledge and he fell apart like a rock and roll fanboy just totally because he's meeting you know his hero one of his heroes you know the legendary stars cowboy he just fell apart just totally lost his you know composure he was like just like like i said a rock and roll teenage rock and roll fanboy you know it was, it was amazing to see and then he looked at me and he goes i know you you're the drummer right and i said you're david who you know <laughs> it was kind of cool and he told me to um that uh, he goes, I heard you're writing a book. And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said, well, send me a manuscript. I'd like to maybe write a forward for it. And I thought, fuck. And it gave me writer's block for five fucking years. I could not put pen to paper because he said that. I don't know why. It was just because it was such an intimidating thing. I mean, I know he was, it was obviously already, you know, in stone that he was a huge Ledge fan. All I had to do was get the book done. But now it seemed like a more difficult of an order to, to fill. And then I, I got over it, and I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm going to write this book. And then he passes away. But, you know, I'll forever be indebted to him for what he did for The Ledge. And plus the amazing body of work that he, he recorded and left behind. It's just incredible. So, thank you, wham bam, Mr. Spaceman. Not you, Ledge. Well, you too. All right. Okay, so, anyway, the, how Bowie got turned on to The Ledge was when he signed his first deal uh, with Mercury Records in America. He had records out in England before that, but when he signed his Mercury deal, uh, he flew over to America, and they wined him and dined him, and the night he was leaving to go back to England, Clive Davis, the president of Mercury at the time, pressed the lead singles, the three lead singles into his hand, the, his entire output at Mercury, besides the record that, that they made three uh, uh, test pressings of, and then, never mind, that's a whole other story, but uh, three Mercury singles, he gave them to David Boyd and said, these will change your life, and they certainly did. Really, for the better. And David would have said the same thing, for the better. Cheers.